This is what the road is like when I'm headed into work in the morning. And the crazy thing is, this is what the road was like back in 1982 when I got on the road to healing PTSD. There were people out there before me and they're the experts that I learned from. Now the thing that a lot of people don't know is that Vietnam veterans are the ones that came back and fought for all the funding and the research and treatment for PTSD. So anyone that has survived trauma and is receiving treatment, they have Vietnam veterans to thank for that. Because they came back and fought for all generations, the ones that came before them and the ones they knew would come after them. So that no one would have to suffer the way that they did. I mean, no matter how they were treated, they just turned around and said, you know what? We still have faith in each other. We still have faith that justice will come out of this. And they fought, and they fought, and they fought, and they pushed, and they pushed, and they pushed. And they're the ones that started all the research. Now, I'm sure that you've driven in traffic jams, and that's what it's been like for most of us that were out there a long, long, long time ago. I mean, the, the other thing that in, in the news is they're talking about um, members of law enforcement and firefighting and other emergency responders dealing with PTSD and what their jobs did to them. Yet again, Vietnam veterans led the way on that too. A lot of the groups were started by Vietnam veterans who returned and became police officers. The IFOC was started by a police officer, Vietnam veteran. Nam Knights was started by a police officer, Vietnam veteran. And Point Me International Ministries, the group I'm with, was started by, you guessed it, police officer, Vietnam veteran. And all these groups have been out there for over 30 years. We need a new house, but we don't need a down payment. Because they knew what peer support could do. They knew that if they shared information and support, it would be phenomenal, and it had been. So, for everything that's, you know, happening today, we really have Vietnam veterans to thank for everything that, that was learned on trauma. The rate of veterans with PTSD from Vietnam was one out of three. And by 78, they knew they had half a million Vietnam veterans with PTSD. There was research that was done, it was called the Forgotten Warrior Project. And that, that report was just phenomenal. So for everything that we forget, now you have no excuse. You're going to have to remember where all this came from. You called it post-traumatic stress disorder. One out of three Vietnam veterans came back with PTSD. Why are you forgetting about them? And all other scars, or whether those scars are visible or hidden. Find out how to help, because for warriors, the greatest casualty is being forgotten. Then why the hell did you forget them? Planning a spring break get